Jorge, you talked about enlisting the young people in the process of designing their own logo, setting their own vision, articulating the boundaries around behavior and the essence and elements of covenant. And certainly there's probably not a youth group out there that doesn't worry and isn't concerned about substance abuse. And so it finds its way into these covenants an awful lot, and it also finds its way into behavior which transgresses. How do you handle uh, moments and time and incidents when, when the young people themselves are breaking the covenant with something like substance abuse? Well, once uh, I identify what's happening within the youth group and if I see uh, any drugs being passed around or, or uh, I address the issue quickly. There was a one service on a Friday night service. We're having full service. I'm noticing that young men are going into the restroom uh, in twos. And uh, in the middle of the sermon, I uh, excused myself and put the mic down on the pulpit and went straight to the restroom. And as I opened the door, they weren't shocked because they're thinking I'm preaching, they're dealing in the restroom. So uh, the first thing I said, I'm here to buy. They opened their eyes and I said, you know what, if you want me to have a relationship with you, if you want me to continue working with you, you need to stop doing this right now, right at this moment. We're, now, you got to remember, I'm working with young men that are fatherless, young men that don't know another way. So as soon as I said, if you want a relationship, you need to stop now, they realize, wait a minute. I have a relationship with this pastor. He has helped me in the time of need. They dropped all the drugs, flushed them down, came back in the service with me, never had that problem again. But there are some that uh, will come with the same issue, and I have addressed them, mentored them, and got the help that they needed.